welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I hope you guys are all healthy and well. Today is Saturday and we are about to head off to Spotlight because I really want to get a big pink piece of material to pop up on hooks on my back wall. You guys know the wall I'm talking about. It's the one I always film in front of. I'd always looked into getting a backdrop, like an actual setup, but they're usually like three meters long and I just don't have that space in this office. So I thought a bit of an easier way, that way I can kind of like put it up and take it down when I want to and also change the colors and stuff. So I thought I'd just pop up some hooks and we can just poke some little holes in the corners of the material and then just pop it up. So we're gonna do that. Reese wants to get a green screen so that we can try and do some funky little things. So that'll be fun. And then tomorrow we are heading into the city, which we haven't been into the city since my birthday, which was in July. And it's Father's Day tomorrow. So we're going in for lunch and that's gonna be at South Bank. And then we're going to cross over the bridge to the city and we are going to get some Christian Louboutin shoes for my brother's girlfriend Sheridan. It's her 21st birthday this week so we're taking her out. We've all pitched in and we're gonna get her her dream shoes so I'm so excited for that. Now I did actually film on Tuesday when I got my Apple device. If you're following me on Instagram then you already know what I got. So we're gonna do a bit of a flashback. I'm gonna take you back to Tuesday and you can see what I got. Do a bit of an unboxing. It was so exciting and I am absolutely in love with it. So enjoy that and I will see you soon. Hi guys, we're gonna do this section of the vlog in golden hour. So I just got home, I've got my Apple device right here. I'm finally going to tell you what I got. Okay, so recently I kind of found myself in a situation where I really wanted to be able to take my work um, in a portable mode and be able to do it elsewhere than just in my room. I have been feeling just a little bit down constantly being in this office, which, you know, I try to make it as pink and fun as possible. And you know, it's, it's a great space for creating, but at the end of the day, it gets really dark in here. There's not a whole lot of light coming in, except for like right now at what, like five o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, it just gets quite dark. And when you're the only person at home and stuff, you just kind of want to spread out and be able to do your work elsewhere or be able to actually go outside, go somewhere else to a cafe or something and do your work. And so I saw a good offer come up and I thought I would finally do it. So I got my rose gold MacBook Air. Oh, I'm so excited. I just always thought the rose gold was so classy and so pretty and so luxe. And so I really wanted to get it. You guys know that I love pink, so. I just had to do it and now I can finally take my work elsewhere. I don't have to just stay in this room. I can, you know, go visit people. I can go to other places and do my work and it doesn't just have to be so confined and so, I don't know, sometimes it just kind of feels like a bit of a jail cell in here and I think people who work from home would also know the feeling, especially if you do only work in like an apartment or a unit or townhouse or something when it is a smaller space, although we have two levels and everything and we do have much more space than our last apartment, it's still, at the end of the day, it's just a townhouse. And if there's not a lot of light coming in, it doesn't feel very large and it can just feel very like, I don't know, depressing. <laughs> so I thought just something like this would be able to help me just get out of this room and still be able to do my work. So let's unbox it. Ooh. Ready, are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. I'm barely ready for this, but also Loki really ready for this. Anyway, let's just do it. Oh no. <laughs> I apologize. Ah, there we go. All right, let me just pretend that didn't happen. Let's go. Are you serious? No, oh, ta-da. <laughs> oh my God, it's stunning. We have to take this off. Ready? Oh my God, it's so light. I'm gonna have to get a little protector thing for it. It's the last time I didn't have one. Ready? I have it. It's mine. I have it. Finally. Oh my 
girl. So I just filmed all of this and realized that I wasn't even recording. So take two. Hi guys, we are back from Spotlight. We've just been doing the laundry and just reorganizing our wardrobes. So I ended up getting two shades of pink because I wasn't sure if one of them was gonna be too light, but I really liked the color of it and I wasn't sure if it was gonna be too sheer. So then I thought, well, I could always put the darker pink behind it or I could just use the pink, the darker pink by itself if I wanted to, if it's thick enough. So anyway, these are the two pinks that I got. So you can see that this is quite a light pink and I'm, I am a little worried that it might come out too white. So that's why I've got this lolly pink behind, which is also really pretty. And then Reese got his green for his green screen that he's gonna set up in his office. And uh, we've got some hooks already, so we're gonna get started on it very soon. But quickly before we start, I wanted to show you some other things that I did get from Spotlight. So I got this gorgeous little linen mannequin type of necklace stand. It is so beautiful. I've had this necklace for years and years and years, and I've always wanted to put it on display, but I wasn't really sure how, like I didn't wanna just pop it on a necklace stand like this and just let it hang. So I think it's really pretty to display it. And uh, yeah, and then I also got this from Kmart the other day. I think it was like $7 and I'm pretty sure this was $13. So it's kind of nice because they're both linen. So yeah, very pretty. And then please excuse the fan that you're hearing at the moment. I can't turn the light on without the fan blasting. That's why if I ever film anything in here, like hair tutorials or whatever, you will never hear anything because I, I usually do like a voiceover or something because this thing just gets so loud. Anyway, I got this gorgeous little rose gold soap dispenser for $5. It was usually $27, but it was on sale because around the back, there's like a few little marks and stuff, but I was like, well, that's at the back. So I don't really care. I think it's so pretty and I really want to really pink up this bathroom. Like I really want to get rid of these things over here. They were just kind of like, well, the cotton was always there. And then I got rid of the pampas grass stuff from downstairs. So then I moved it up just to put it somewhere. So they're kind of in there together, but I really hate it. And I want to change it into some tall pink flowers of some sort. I'm not really sure what just yet, but yeah, we'll get to that. So this is like the situation that's happening in the bathroom right now. Um, it's meh. I need to put another white towel there. I used one the other day, so it's looking a bit flat, but usually that's a bit higher. And I've just moved one of the candles that were over here to over here because I ended up getting some more little like pillar candles. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. And so I thought once they're lit up, that'd be really nice, like around the bath, but I'm, I'm not a hundred percent convinced with it just yet, but I don't know, maybe I'll light them, I'll have a bubble bath and see what I think. But I'm, I'm really lost on what I want to do here. I changed out the bowl that I had for this old fruit bowl that I used to have. So um, I always hated it, but like, even though it's pink, it's just not my type of pink. This mirror, I absolutely adore, but I had no idea where to put it. So it's just sitting here in the corner at the moment, but I don't think it really works. I think we just really need to sort this out. And then I think everything will start to flow from there. And I think I'll start to be able to envision something a bit better here. I think it's just, that's really putting me off. And so until I fix that, I don't think I can really fix anything else. But anyway, I got these little candles and I thought they're really cute. And yeah, that's the sitch. <laughs> Sunday and we are currently on our way into the city. We're not too far off, maybe about 20 minutes now. We are heading in for lunch. We're going to the Spaghetti House at South Bank. And then from there, we're going to be heading into 
the city into the David Jones Center and go get some shoes for Sheridan, which I told you guys about, the Louboutins. So that's very exciting. Reese and I have a funny TikTok in mind because we were in New York a year ago. Today would have been our first day exploring New York. So we're going to explore the city and just like compare it to New York. I don't know, we thought it was funny. We'll see how it goes. I'm really excited for Starbucks though. We were meant to be going in early because we wanted to just kind of enjoy the morning together and have Starbucks again because we don't have Starbucks where we live. So it's always a treat when we do get it. But then I ended up filming a TikTok about my outfit because I decided to do 30 days of outfits. So it just took up a bit more time and now we're not late. We're not late, but we're just late in comparison to when we thought we were gonna be coming in. Oh, that's my brother. Okay. See you soon. It's our old apartment right in there. Oh, someone else lives there. I saw it. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's raining. I realized I didn't actually film that. Chic top, pedal and pup skirt. And can you believe this skirt actually went on sale by $25 the next day after I bought it? Right. Collect headband. That's it. There you look. <laughs> so excited. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, do one where you turn around and kick your shoe off. So she hasn't got the again. shoes on. Oh, yeah. shoot, you don't. <laughs> 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 okay, we are now on our way to couch. The rest of the family have already gone there. Oh, I'm definitely getting a blister. And we stopped at the casino to take some photos because I didn't buy this skirt for nothing. I had to take some cute pics. So we stopped and did that and they actually turned out really cool and I'm so excited because they just have the best color scheme and the best like architecture there. I mean, it's kind of old, but it's still really pretty and cool. So now we're just walking through, apparently this is called the Arbor Path. I've never known that it was called this but South Bank Arbor Path and uh, yeah we'll be at couch soon got a friend <gasps> he's huge goodbye so this is the South Bank Beach that is in the middle kind of like in the city even though South Bank isn't the city as such but it's just across from and so everyone kind of considers it as the city anyway so it's like a city like man-made beach not really somewhere that you actually want to swim because the water is filled with pee and you could easily get infected swimming in this so no one really does it i don't think i've ever swum in it i've put my feet in but i've definitely never swum in it swum swum in it but yeah it's a cool little spot to chill out but I definitely prefer our normal beaches on the coast. <laughs>
god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't see anything. What's that movie at the end? Uh, Goes black. Speed. No. <laughs>